Congratulations, terrific three points today. And what a really good second half comeback by your team. I think that, yeah, thoroughly deserved it. It was what we've been saying, you know, good side Grimsby, they set up well, um, tried to play. Um, we knew, we thought we knew what they was doing and we didn't sort of like get the grips with it in the first half and uh, took the lead. But once again, uh, we, we didn't hold on to it, but compliment to the players and everybody, they've come out second half and just proved what we was, what we I've been saying about them. Um, and we do things right and stick together and work hard. You get your results. Yeah, and second half we seem to push much further up the pitch, press them, and really put them under pressure, didn't we? Well, I'd like to say it was tactical, but being honest with you, we should have been doing that in the first half. So there was a few words said at half time, and the boys agreed. You know, we, we was showing them a little bit too much respect, and they are a good football inside. They've got good players, um, but at the end of the day, if if we stick together and work together as what we do. That's all we could offer at the minute, you know. You got that, and then on the back of that, you know, we've taken four points off the rooms we now since since we've been here. Um, and if you do that continuous on a regular basis, you won't be far off the games. And when you've got uh, strikers like Ollie Palmer and Ashley Addison, you've always got a chance. And I thought the pair of them today were terrific, weren't they? Well, we've been doing a lot of work with them, and obviously Lee Bradbury's been working well with them, being a good striker himself. So he tells us. Um, but no, listen, Lee and, and everybody, you know, all the coaching staff and. The people behind the scenes, you know, we've had we had a few injuries again this week. We've had a few things that should have gone that hadn't gone, and uh, you know, George Frankham comes in, plays in central midfield, um, does well, and um, turns the game. And you know, everybody everybody has to be ready to play. Yeah, your squad is stretched a bit at the moment, John. One or two injuries. Just to, just go through them. I mean, Nathan Ferguson, Lewis Young, uh, Joe McNerney. What's the situation with these guys? Um, they're, they're, it's, I think it's this time of year. Every you know, I'm not using that to hide behind because it gives everyone a chance for us to look at. Because we don't, you know, for me, we're still getting to know the squad. Um, but listen, everyone that stepped up has done a job. I take responsibility for, which is why I got annoyed last week because we was planning things and do things. And when we don't do them, we get the results that we did last week. This week, we turned around, we worked hard all week and the lads have taken everything on board. And listen, they're all desperate to play for the football club, which is more important than anything else. Supporters again today played their part massively. And um, no, I, I, let's just hope we continue it. Yeah, the home form has been really good since you came in. It's an absolute cornerstone to climb in the league, but I know you'd love to get a result on Tuesday down at Plymouth. Um, I'd like just to get a team out to play Plymouth <laughs> to start with. Um, yeah, um, Payne come out, he, he's got a little bit of an air, hamstring, so he said. Um, but no, listen, we just got to roll on with it. We can only put out and do what we can do. And if you get beat by a better side, you just got to hold your hands up. It's when we beat ourselves that's frustrating. Um, and today we see the other side of, well, not the other side of Crawley, the, the side that we have to have, because we have to work for each other and, and help each other and batter each other. And, that's what you get, you get your rewards in the end.